What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about patterns and the playlist. Really briefly, um, I'm not going to get into all of the advanced features, but I want to discuss um, kind of how I like to uh, use the patterns and the playlist and maybe um, you'll find it useful. The way I use the patterns in the playlist um, is basically the patterns I use for specific instruments. Uh, and what I mean by that is if I go to, for example, pattern one in this song, you're going to see there's a bunch of sounds happening all at the same time. And all these sounds represent a drum track, a drum beat. And because a drum is considered a single instrument, um, I have a pattern dedicated only to playing the drum. I'm going to make sure that pattern is uh, selected here, this little light and then I'm going to hit play. It's only going to play this one pattern. But you're going to be able to hear that this represents just my drums. Okay, and then when you play a pattern, it repeats itself. And that's, that is nice because it allows you to tweak the, uh, the pattern listening to it real time. But, uh, but anyway, so I've got my drums in one pattern. And then I'm going to go find uh, another part. And this part is just some, some chord progression going on here. And uh, that's all in its own pattern uh, because that's another specific instrument. And if we play this one, we'll hear what it sounds like. Okay, then I'll go to a different one. Now here... This is a boo bass showing you my bass line. And again, this is all in its own pattern. Okay, so um, by doing it this way, what I can do is when I bring the playlist into view here, you can see that now I could say, okay, my drums play, my chords, my bass. Uh, my whistle, in this case, it's another pattern that has its own unique uh, instrument in it. Um, and I can, you know, I can play those and arrange those any way I want. If I would have put everything all into one pattern, uh, it would have been very difficult for me to, to arrange it. Um, but the other thing you get is by putting them in different patterns, I can take, for example, my bass line copy it to another pattern, which you see here, bass number two, and then alter it. So in this case, my original bass line had these notes, and if you look at these last three notes, at the end of the measure there, at the end of the pattern, and in number two, I've removed them. So basically what happens is my bass line drops out at the end of that particular pattern. And then what I've done with my drums, which, which are here, you can see it's pretty full. I've made a variation of my drums where I copied the original. And then my drums, you can see there's a lot missing here because now I've dropped the drums out as well. So when I play my song back, they're going to play the drums. But then in, in, in measure number four, which is about right here, um, what will happen is the drums and the bass will completely drop out before the pattern, before the sequence repeats again. And uh, you can see I've told it, you know, to play my bass and then my variation on the bass, my drums, and then my variation on the drums. And uh, now what I can do is now that I've arranged it, and, you know, this is just a simple arrangement. This is definitely not a full arrangement uh, of like an intro and a, verse and a chorus and everything, but now that I've arranged it, a simple arrangement here, I can go into song mode by clicking this button, hitting play, and you can hear how the whole song sounds with all the parts together. Okay, and hopefully you heard how the drums and the bass dropped out right before it kicked up again and went back to uh, bar number one. Uh, but anyway, so that's uh, how I generally use the, the patterns 
and the playlist together. And uh, hopefully, um, if you're not doing that, um, because I know when I first started FL Studio, I was putting everything in the same pattern that I could uh, <clears throat> so I could hear everything together. And then I was going and manually copying everything out into their own patterns. And, you know, after a while, that just got really old. So I learned how to use the playlist and just start putting things in their own pattern from the get-go. And then you have uh, a lot more flexibility in arranging your, your song. And actually, creatively, it, it opens up a lot of, of doors to you, too. So uh, anyway, so I hope you learned something and, uh, and, and take it and build upon it. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.